we are tantalizingly close to Apple's March 25th press event, where they're expected to announce a wide variety of new products and features. So what exactly can you expect come Monday? We're gonna break it down and give you the likelihood of what we're gonna see. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Ahead of Apple's event, they released a ton of new hardware products. On Monday, we saw new iPad minis, new iPad Airs. On Tuesday, we saw the new iMacs. On Wednesday, we saw the new AirPods. And at the same time, we saw new Apple Watch bands, new smart covers, new case colors for spring, all these new products. So with this hardware out of the way, it kind of begs the question of what we're going to see at the media event. And luckily, it seems like Apple has a packed show. They likely want to kind of clear the docket, get all this hardware out of the way, as to not steal the headlines from what they're planning to debut at their event. Notably, it's going to be two different services. One is going to be a news slash journalism subscription service, where you can subscribe to different publications through the news app, including magazines that you may want to get digitally rather than through just the mail. This is from Apple's acquisition of Texture that happened not too long ago. Additionally, we're going to see Apple's new streaming service. We're going to get all new sorts of videos, as well as integration with other popular platforms such as HBO, Showtime, Stars, and the likes of that. That's been popular recently with Hulu and Amazon Prime, both adding those kind of tie-in services to their existing platforms. Apple looks to do the same, possibly offering their actual original content for free while charging for the add-ons from those additional subscribers, just HBO and Showtime. Apple has been picking up a ton of original content recently with new dramas and comedies and combinations of the both rolling out into production over the course of the last few years. A lot of those shows have already wrapped production or at least finished principal photography. So we should be able to see some trailers from up to 11 different original shows, including probably stars of a lot of those shows, such as Steve Carell, Jennifer Aniston, J.J. Uh, Abrams, all these big names that really could bring some big headlines to Apple at the close of the event. It is a bit of a long shot, but we could actually see the debut of the Apple credit card. This Apple Pay branded credit card would integrate right into the wallet app, possibly using the rings from Apple's activity app to help track spending limits right from within wallet and not requiring some new third party application to make it work. Apple is partnering with Goldman Sachs on this, at least so the reports say, and the Goldman Sachs CEO is set to attend Apple's event on Monday, further stoking the flames that an announcement could be imminent. So we did see all of this new hardware from Apple already hit the market, new iPads, new iMacs, new AirPods, cases, everything else in between. So does that mean we're not going to see any hardware at the event? Well, it's possible that we won't. We may not see anything, but there are at least a few things that Apple has up its sleeve that we've yet to see actually debut. Namely, a new iPod Touch that'll be able to run newer versions of iOS heading into the future. We're also due for the AirPower wireless charging mat. The rumors have been heating up as of late with new images being found on Apple's website containing the new iPhone XS on the actual air power charging mat and the AirPods wireless charging case. We also heard new rumors from DigiTimes that the new air power charging mat could actually hit store shelves by late March. Considering it basically is late March, we could see this at the event or soon after. The last things that is in the cards for Apple to debut is the latest versions of iOS, watchOS, tvOS, and macOS. They've all been beta tested for quite a while now, currently reaching the sixth developer beta. We've been testing iOS 12.2, watchOS 5.2, tvOS 12.2, and macOS 10.14.4. All of these new releases are going to be required for Apple's new hardware releases that they just debuted. So if you want to use the latest versions of AirPods, you do need the latest version of all of those operating systems to make them work. We should see iOS and the rest of the lineup released on Monday with the event or soon after. So that means the biggest thing that we expect to see from Apple on Monday is a new video subscription service, a new digital journalism type subscription service for news, the latest releases of iOS, tvOS, watchOS, and macOS, and possibly some hardware surprises in the names of AirPower or new iPod Touch. And another long shot would be the new Apple Pay branded credit card. We know when the new iOS and those releases are slated to come because of the requirement on the new hardware that has already begun shipping. 
which means we still don't know when to see the new subscription services for TV or video and news. Cards say that they could be as far out as late fall, but Apple is lucky to want to get those into people's hands as soon as possible. This is not going to be another air power announcement where we hear it now, but we don't see anything for years to come. This should be coming quickly afterward, either right after or as far as this fall. So that's what to expect time-wise on the new subscription services. So there you have it. Now you know what to expect at Apple's March 25th event. New subscription services for video and news, possible new surprise hardware, possible Apple Pay branded credit cards, many more things are in Apple's pipeline and we don't know for sure we're going to see at the event, but we can guarantee that it's going to be a star studded affair. Even Apple's invite to the press included an old school style movie countdown with It's Showtime as the tagline. We are definitely going to see some stars from Apple's new shows and it's going to be an exciting event so stay tuned to Apple Insider for all the latest news and come back to us wrapping the event for a live breakdown of everything that you saw Apple announce. So we'll see you guys then. Enjoy that video? Click like and press on that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the Apple Insider price guide that has the best deals on Apple devices and is updated daily. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys in the next video.